Anatomy and Physiology Practice Test. These sample test questions are for the HESI exam. You'll be given some time to answer each question. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can see hundreds of more free test questions at www.testguide.com slash HESI. Let's get started. Question one. Which muscle is responsible for the adduction of the shoulder? Biceps brachii? triceps brachii, latissimus dorsi, brachialis. Correct answer C. Although all of the answer options are for muscles in the arm and shoulder region, the latissimus dorsi is the muscle responsible for the adduction of the shoulder. The biceps brachii is responsible for elbow flexion, whereas the tri triceps help with elbow extension. Two, fats are broken down in the small intestine using which enzymes? Lipase, pepsin, bile, A and C. Correct answer D. Fats, also known as lipids, are broken down using lipase produced by the pancreas and bile produced by the liver. They are transferred to the small intestine through the bile duct. Pepsin and pepsinogen are responsible for breaking down proteins, not lipids. Question 3. What valve is responsible for preventing the backflow of blood from the right ventricle to the right atrium? Mitral valve, tricuspid valve, aortic valve, pulmonary valve. Correct answer B. The pulmonary valve is the same structure that prevents blood backflow between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. The mitral valve is located between the left ventricle and the left atrium. The aortic valve is the structure between the left ventricle and the aorta. The only valve located on the right side between the right atrium and the right ventricle is the tricuspid valve. Question four. What lobe of the brain is responsible for processing olfactory information? Frontal, parietal, occipital, temporal. Correct answer D. Olfactory, or the sense of smell, is controlled by the temporal lobe, not the frontal lobe, which controls cognition and motor movement, nor the occipital lobe, which controls vision. The parietal lobe is responsible for controlling body and spatial placement and responses to touch. Thus, the answer is the temporal lobe. Question five. In order for the actin filaments to bind to the myosin head, what must occur first? The sarcomere has to shorten. Calcium ions must bind to troponin molecules. Tropomyosin has to attach to the actin binding sites. Magnesium ions must be released by the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Correct answer B. The tropomyosin has to be removed from the actin to expose the myosin binding sites. To do this, troponin must be first removed from the tropomyosin to allow for the myosin binding sites to be exposed on the actin filaments. Calcium ions are able to accomplish this, therefore the correct answer is B. The sarcomere shortens as a result of muscle contraction after the myosin has attached to the actin filament. Magnesium ions have no role in muscle contraction. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and let us know your comments and questions below. Question 6. What areas of the brain are the most affected if a person is unable to understand written or verbal speech? Wernicke's area, Broca's area, occipital lobe, parietal lobe. Correct answer A. The person cannot understand speech, which does not mean that they are unable to produce speech. 
Speech production is concentrated in Broca's area, and since the question referred to the person's inability to understand speech and not their inability to produce speech, B is not the correct answer. The occipital lobe is responsible for vision, and the parietal is responsible for response to touch and body movements. Only Wernicke's area is the site for language comprehension. Question 7. What is a combination of epithelial and connective tissue that works together to complete a specific function? Cytoplasm, flagella, epithelial membrane, connective membrane. Correct answer, C. Epithelial membrane is the correct answer. The connective membrane is non-existent and the cytoplasm and flagella are parts of a cell. Question 8. Which of the following is not a method used to name skeletal muscles? Number of origins, function, location, shape. Correct answer, B. Function is the correct answer. Skeletal muscle is named after the number of origins, location of origin, location, shape, direction of muscle fibers, size, and action. Question 9. Which of the following are hormones that act to return the body conditions to acceptable limits from opposite extremes? Peptide hormones, protagonistic hormones, antagonistic hormones, protein hormones. Correct answer C. Antagonistic hormones is the correct answer. An example of antagonistic hormones taking place is the regulation of blood glucose. Beta cells secrete insulin when blood glucose rises and alpha cells secrete glucagon when blood glucose drops. 10. Which of the following best describes the term propulsion? Movement of food along the digestive tract, process of eating food, movement of molecules from digestive tract to blood vessels, process of chewing food. Correct answer A. Propulsion is the movement of food along the digestive tract. Ingestion is the process of eating food. Absorption is the movement of molecules from digestive tract to the blood vessels. Question 11. What is the part of a neuron that is covered with myelin? Dendrites, cell body, axon, axon branches. Correct answer C. Dendrites are short extensions of neurons that feel stimuli. Axons are long extensions that send out stimuli. Axon branches are small extensions of the axon. Myelin is a fatty substance that is created by glial cells. Question 12. Muscles are stabilized and covered by what? Atria, vesicles, tendons, Fascia. Correct answer, D. Fascia is the correct answer. Fascia is a sheet of connective tissue under the skin that stabilizes and covers muscles. Question 13. Which of the following is in charge of many internal body conditions such as temperature, blood pressure, and water content? Nervous system, pituitary gland, hypothalamus, pancreas. Correct answer, C. The hypothalamus is just below the brainstem and is in charge of numerous internal body conditions. It regulates temperature, blood pressure, nutrient content, hormone content, and water content. Question 14. Which of the following are tiny sacs inside of our lungs that allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to move between the lungs and bloodstream? Bronchioles, alveoli, bronchi, neurons.
Correct answer B. Alveoli is the correct answer. Alveoli are organs and serve to get oxygen to the body parts that need it and get rid of the carbon dioxide we do not need. Question 15. Which of the following cell types that are present in the epidermis serve as a sensory function and occur deep in the epidermis? Melanocytes, Langerhan cells, Merkel cells, keratinocytes. Correct answer C. Merkel cells is the correct answer. Keratinocytes produce keratin that hardens the skin. Melanocytes produce melanin, which is a pigment that protects the skin from the sun. Langerhans cells interact with white blood cells during an immune response. Question 16. What is the function of glucagon? Reduce blood glucose levels, increase blood glucose levels, help with diabetes, serves no function. Correct answer B. Glucagon is produced by the pancreatic alpha islet cells. It triggers glycogenolysis in the liver, which increases blood glucose levels. Insulin is produced by the beta islet cells in the pancreas and reduces blood glucose levels. Question 17. What is the name of the soup-like substance created in the stomach when food is mixed with stomach acid, mucus, and pepsin? Chyme, bile, mucus, peristalsis. Correct answer A. The stomach creates a soup-like substance by churning and mixing food into chyme. Bile is produced by the liver. Question 18. One of the functions of the skin is to synthesize certain vitamins. Which of the following vitamins is synthesized by the skin? Vitamin D, vitamin A, melatonin, adrenaline. Correct answer A. One of the functions of the skin is to synthesize vitamin D. The skin is exposed to the sun, and the skin synthesizes the vitamin D when exposed to the sun. 19. What is the function of prolactin? Promotes milk production, promotes growth of body tissue, it serves no function, stimulates basal metabolic rate. Correct answer A. Prolactin promotes the production of milk. It is located in the anterior pituitary gland and is also known as PRL. Question 20. When a doctor tells you to inhale as much as possible and then exhale as much as possible into a spirometer, what is it called? Vital capacity, total lung capacity, lung test, Volume test. Correct answer A. If a doctor asks you to do this, they would be taking your vital capacity. The doctor uses a tool called a spirometer to take vital capacity. Please go to www.testguide.com hesi for hundreds of more free practice test questions.